Hi guys, I'm going to show you today the dental implant versus dental bridge. If you look at the middle tubes, it's a crown on top of the dental implant, adjacent tubes, and it's a molar tubes, and another one is the premolar tubes. So now, if you look at the missing tubes in the middle, you're going to remove that one, you see the bone, you see the implant in the middle, and you see the two crowns on the sides, I mean the dental tubes. So now if you remove the crown, look at the other side, it looks like exactly natural and it doesn't show you have a fake teeth, actually the middle one is a crown on top of the implant. So we are doing the middle implant, we are not touching the two adjacent teeth, it's very pure and nice, it's a few components of a dental implant now you compare for example if you have a missing in the middle so you want to do the dental bridge you have to prep the teeth with a smaller size and put the bridge on the top which is connecting in the middle so now um, what do you think it's not better to not prep the two teeth on the side and it's be more conservative and not damage the other two teeth and it's just the implant in the middle look for the dental bridge, you always connecting the two teeth together, and you have to prep the two teeth on the side and to connect the missing teeth in the middle. But definitely, the best option is a dental implant. As you see, that we're going to remove this one, and now you see the two teeth on the side prepped, and we put it back again. Where let's say, for example, it just the two teeth is a natural teeth, we don't need to touch them. Just replacing the missing tooth by dental implants. So with that way, you don't need to touch the two adjacent teeth, and they are very conservative, good, healthy, and if you look at from the other side, it looks very natural, very good, and uh, very conservative posture. That's the best to do in the implant versus dental bridge. Thank you. Okay, hope you enjoyed the videos.